In many ways, Rosa Parks was hidden in plain sight in the Black Power era. She had found her public fame around the boycott hard to bear and preferred, if possible, to blend in. Many times she just wanted to show up, to participate, and to try not to cause attention. She was never one to recruit anybody. Looking at people like Parks, who often labor behind the scenes, provides a window onto the work of black radicalism and the ways people sustain this vision over decades. Part of what she did in those years was show up. She spoke with her presence. She attended rallies and speeches and public meetings. She signed petitions, came out for lectures, went to anti-war demonstrations, and immersed herself in all the black history she could find. She protested police brutality, spoke out on behalf of black prisoners, and helped found local defense committees. She did not necessarily want to join groups or give speeches. Seeking to use her stature to get attention for the cause or group she was supporting, she came out for things and let groups use her name. Given the way black power activists sort of sharply distinguish themselves from an older generation of civil rights activists, I think it has been a sort of easy to overlook how important these relationships, these elders were to kind of young activists of the late 60s and 70s. Erica Huggins of the Black Panther Party criticized the myth that people in the Black Panther Party had no high regard for people like Rosa Parks. Indeed, for many young activists to have movement stalwarts like Mrs. Parks with them on their side brought encouragement, protection, and a broader historical scope to their work. Particularly because some black leaders kept a distance from this younger black power movement, such cross-generational solidarity was precious and cherished. You can't minimize her validation, black power activist and historian John Bracey observed. Her backing lent legitimacy. If Mrs. Parks is there, it's okay. She never give up, Bracey continued. That's important to young people. She could have retired, but she steadily kept coming out. <laughs> 